Joining me now, Bull Tech Capital Markets, their chief strategist, Catherine Rooney Vera. Catherine, you know, what do you make of all this confusion with the, with the Fed? You know, uh, is it sooner? Is it later? Is it transitory? Is it not? Uh, what, what should we make of it? It's confusing, I think, Charles, because the Fed is confused. They don't know if inflation is transitory or permanent. They don't know if inflation is actually going to accelerate or decelerate. You know, they, they assert these things, but the fact is, is that Jay Powell in the presser just a couple of days ago very, very confusingly said, well, inflation is likely to decelerate, but it might not. Um, so I think there's uh, there's there's uh, ambiguity there, and the Fed is unlikely to do anything until we see inflation really take off. And my biggest concern, Charles, is that this transitory becomes permanent. You know, the transitory factors, yeah. which are unequivocal, their base effects and shortages, they melt into the structural pressures, which are unequivocally fiscal spending, massive government spending, and what the Federal Reserve itself has been doing, which is injecting liquidity into the system with enormous $120 billion in asset purchases per month. Right. And, and to that, I want to focus on that because nobody really is, right? The spending right. that you talked about, the money yes. printing you talked about, yes. is done with borrowed money. Uh, now, there are some lawmakers apparently working on something that's called the Trust Act. Tell us about that. That's just phenomenal. At least somebody's talking about it. Mitt Romney has been very, very, um, very strong with regard to the necessity for reforming social welfare programs for their own survival. The longer we take in, in doing this, the more difficult of a problem it becomes, and the less likely all of the paid-in money that our children will, will pay into their these programs, they're never going to see. We have $65 trillion in unfunded liabilities in Medicare and Social Security. The CBO just recently said that you know, interest costs are going to exceed Social Security spending in 20 years and be 50 percent of revenue in 30 years. So well, the point here, Charles, is that we have a crowding out of the private sector. The government is doing so much debt finance spending. It's not yeah. funded that it's crowding out anything else that they can they can they can spend on. So debt is astronomical and unsustainable. So it's, it's a real problem, Charles. Okay. I hope the Trust Act gains some gains some traction. So do I. I, I mean, someone's got to talk about that. Catherine, thank yes. you very much.